when you do some calculations in spreadsheets, sometimes you get errors. And these are the most common errors. There are a few more, but these ones students seem to see the most. And this last one seems to happen a lot to students. So let's go through and fix them. So how many items were sold? It's supposed to be an addition problem. So if you double click here, B4 plus C4, but if you notice, there's an A at the end. C4A is not the name of a cell address. C4 is, but not C4A. So it doesn't recognize the name. So that's why it's saying name. So if you just delete the A there and hit enter, you get the correct answer. So why does the name error appear? Well, in a sense, it doesn't recognize the cell address name. It doesn't recognize something in the formula. Moving down, the second one where it says div slash zero. So think about math class, you can't divide by zero. So if I take a look at this, 40 divided by zero. So the formula is correct. I want to take this number and divide by this number. But because this number is a zero, it's telling me div slash zero. So uh, if I just change this to five, eight times five is 40. 40 people attending divided by five seats per table gives me eight tables. So why does the div error appear? Because you cannot divide by zero. So in a sense, you're going to change this number so that it doesn't represent a zero, it represents an actual number so that the division error does not appear. Moving down, ref. If I double click here, let's see. C12 times D12. Well, I'm actually typed in D12. So it's referring to the same cell that I'm in. You cannot use a cell to type a formula in and then use that same cell address in the formula. So I'm clicked in D12 and I'm trying to use D12 in my formula. So I know I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I referenced the same cell that I'm in. I should have referenced B12. So C times times B12 is 700,000. So why did that ref error appear? Because I am referencing a cell that I'm actually typing in. And I'm referencing that cell within my formula. And that's one reason why you get the ref error. You will also get the ref error, which I don't have set up in this one, but let's say that I was referring to a cell over here, but then I deleted this cell. Not delete the content, deleted the whole entire column. So that original column never exists this would come up as a ref error. Moving down, value. Well, if I notice B16 times C16, I'm, I'm going to take my price times my quantity. So when I hit enter, why is it saying value? Well, pumpkins is not a value, it's text. So if I delete the word pumpkins and hit enter, I get my result. I get my answer. So why is the error value appearing? Words aren't values. So Sheets doesn't recognize the text in the cell that it's referencing uh, because, again, it's not a numerical value. And the last one, equal sign B20 plus C20. Why isn't it calculating? Because this is the correct formula, B20 plus C20. Well, every formula begins with an equal sign, but this formula doesn't start with an equal sign. It actually started with a space. So if I delete that space, you can see it light right up. That should be 50. I can decrease my decimal if I would like. So the last one, why is the formula showing up there? And again, it's not an actual word error. It's an error that you can see right on screen that it's not calculating because a formula begins with an equal sign. It doesn't begin with a space. It doesn't begin with another character like a period. And sometimes when you're zoomed all the way out, you might not be able to see that little character and you're looking like, what? Sometimes it's easier if you zoom in a little bit so you can see that there's an extra space here or an extra character to fix that. So these are the most common errors in Google Sheets.